<laughs> no way makes you laugh like Mindy. That's a funny guy. Ah, he's not a, it's not a mouth. What do you think, Evan? Is that fun? Yeah. yeah. You want to do your left hand? Welcome back to Oso Farm. Today is a busy day in the kitchen. We are making popcorn and salt dough ornaments, and we are getting our 21 pound brisket ready for Christmas Day dinner. So tell us what you're doing, honey. I'm getting the brisket ready. See how big <laughs> it is. So we bought this. Actually, my Emma bought this for us back in June. So this shows you the, how the prices have gone up. It was only $3 a pound. It's 20 pounds. So we have thawed it for four days in the fridge. Tell us what you're going to do. I mean, I've never smoked a brisket before. So I'm just going to open it up, drain it. And then I think we're going to cut it in half because it's so big and um, cover it in this rub for 24 S hours. Yeah, Esme quadrupled this rub and then added one cup of brown sugar. I will link that recipe that we followed below. Oh, move that bottle. Don't get all that blood on that bottle. Things you thought you'd n oh, never say. This is big. 20, almost, yeah, 20. Okay, so you have one stick of butter and two cans of tuna. Now you're gonna take two bread slices and just tear them up and dump them in there. And then I'm gonna get you some lemon juice and pepper. Second. Okay, so he is now added the two pieces of bread and mixed it up with the hand mixer and he's adding two things of cream cheese. 
And once it's all mixed up, we'll put it in a Tupperware ready for tomorrow. Okay, so Esme. Hi, Esme is making King Ranch, Paula Dean King Ranch chicken dip. We brought it last year to a family Christmas and loved it. I actually added some of my dehydrated jalapenos. They are so spicy, so I only added a few. So what have you added so far? Cream of chicken. Cream of chicken, two, two cups of cooked chicken. She's trying to open Rotel. Our can opener is not a blessing. Evan is having a battle of spices down here. Who's winning, Evan? Evan, who's winning? No. He has lined them all up. He takes them out of that little cabinet over there. We have Danny, you have a granola bar. Good job. Yeah. yeah. We have some hard boiled eggs going. We are having barbecue on Christmas day. So I'm gonna, we're gonna make deviled eggs, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the eggs labeled in the fridge. Okay, so we added some two cups of cheddar cheese, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of oregano, and two teaspoons of Chili powder. Chili powder. And then we're going to spread this in a 9 by 13 and this is just a dip that you eat with chips. Okay, I'm making this tequila shrimp marinade. And so I'm adding a fourth a cup of oil, a fourth a cup of tequila, a splash of lime juice, a little bit more. Just add the rest. We are making magnolia tables. Overnight French toast. And we are making everything. This is the 23rd. We're gonna have this Christmas morning. So tomorrow night, we'll pour this on it. So we've done step one and two. We've cut our bread and put it in the pan and now she is beating the eggs. We're gonna pour these and these Tupperwares so that it's really easy tomorrow and we're just able to spend time with family. Here is all of the bread ready to go and we're gonna get that in the refrigerator. <laughs> okay, so this is our hash brown casserole and it is just a bag of frozen hash browns thawed out about a cup of cheddar cheese, one can of cream of mushroom soup. I use the gluten-free from Walmart, uh, one cup of sour cream, and about four ounces of cream cheese, salt and pepper. You bake this for about 35 minutes on 350 and then add cheddar cheese on top and cook until the cheese is melted.
Those those are amazing. Oh yes, they're both amazing. I don't know what you're gonna say. Ashton, you want to punch yourself? Yes, please. Why is these so hard to you? That shrimp looks so good. That shrimp looks so good. Sorry. 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 Sorry.